Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Jaguar Land Rover of Clearwater, and guess what? We have a very, very special SUV. This is a 2021 Range Rover HSE Westminster Edition, long wheelbase, and guess what? We have supercharged goodness underneath that hood. But before we get into this premium luxury SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So. Range Rover, like I said, that premium level of Land Rover, really just bringing such a unique style. And definitely when you get to that interior, you are treated like a king or a queen. Now, obviously there's tons of competition from other luxury brands, but there just seems to be something that Range Rover brings to the table that none of the others do. Now, this 2021 Westminster edition brings some nice special touches, but especially being a long wheelbase edition, you're gonna get that extra interior space. So let's go ahead, let's find out, is this really the king of those premium luxury SUVs? Let's go find out. Right off the bat, the white with the black wheels really just pops perfectly in the Florida sun. When we start off at the front end of the business, you're gonna get that unique headlight setup that really identifies Range Rover the brand. So you're going to get your LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps. Of course, we have to have some headlamp washers because you know what? As pretty as this SUV may be, as luxurious as it may be, this thing can really get through some off-road conditions that would make other SUVs get literally stuck in the mud. So that's why we have those there. You work your way down, you're going to get functional air intakes. I like the way they kept it simple with some nice horizontal bars here. Work our way down. You have your flat black, also functional, and we have those lower fog lamps. Everything integrated, very nice, very clean. A little bit of flat black, a little bit of gloss black, but I think they played the balance very well. Now, as we come to that center grill area, this is another unique identifier of the brand. You have that gloss black grill, the Range Rover badge on the actual hood. I wish that they would just recess those letters. I think it would just give it a cleaner look than just having them tacked on. So that is going to be a Zong, but you'll notice the Land Rover badge. That's that classic British symbol, British racing green, Land Rover with the Range Rover looking classy. Work your way down. We have more functionality. And then of course we have to tie it all in some gloss black along the bottom. Now you might be saying, well, Joe, there's a lot of plastic, it seems. How is this an off-road vehicle? This has an air suspension where we could raise and lower it. Plus there are skid plates underneath to protect all those inner bits, even a two-speed transfer case, which is awesome. Now, when we get up onto the hood, I like the way it's got a nice clean, just fold to it, runs along that top grill area. Body lines, super simple. We're just gonna have a slight rise on each side they boomerang towards the eight pillars. Very clean, very elegant, very luxurious. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with on this particular Range Rover HSE Westminster Edition? Check out these wheels. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a 22-inch wheel, gloss black. Love the design with the Land Rover badge there. You're going to have these massive six-piston calipers that are going to clamp down on those ventilated rotors. And you know what? This thing can stop on a British scone and give everybody a little bit of extra butter. I promise you that. And then of course we have it in the lower position for the air ride suspension, but this can be raised. And when I say raised, we're talking about this can almost get through three feet of water. Do the math. That's 36 inches of water on this HSE but I just love that classic. Really has a nice British look to it that you just don't find in the other luxury SUVs. We work our way down the fender. I love the way the hood just meets with the fender. You have that very unique, very identifiable gloss black treatment to the doors. And you'll notice that it then, like a hockey stick, goes all the way down the side. That L, what does it stand for? Not for Land Rover, not for love, not for language. It stands for long. This is that long wheelbase HSE. Gloss black all the way around. You got, of course, your color match door handles. We have gloss black on the mirror caps. I love the way they black out the A pillars. And, of, and then when it comes to identify, uh, like, 
a thing that's very identifiable when it comes to the Range Rover brand, very flat roof. The great news is for everybody inside, whether you're in the back seat or the front, everybody gets the same amount of headroom, which I really, really like. Love that nice hard body line that kind of runs along with the door handles, goes past it. Like I was saying, we have it in the low suspension, 275 on the width of the tires and a 40 series sidewall. And then as we come to the rear, that gloss black is gonna get picked up in our rear fender. Look at the way they style the taillights, all LED of course, blacked out on our rear pillars as you rise up. And I'm telling you, the white with the black really matches perfectly and then super clean, you know why? They tucked up that windshield wiper up high. Even the way they did the, the cleared out third brake light, very tasteful, HSE P525. That means we got the supercharged V8 underneath the hood your Range Rover badging, the gloss black. Of course, we got a Land Rover badge with this being a Land Rover Range Rover. And then as we drop down, you're gonna have your full tow capability. Exhaust, they're really super slash cut, almost like a flat cut, but you have that massive opening on each side. And the reason why they do that, because like I said, people who wanna take these off-road, this thing will get through just about anything. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood it says P525. Let's see if it's true. Right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts underneath the hood. Unfortunately, there's a lot of plastic cover, but the great news is the cover does not lie. Supercharged goodness underneath that cover. And like I'm like I was saying, you know, it'd be nice to see a intake plenum to see the supercharger, but what you're looking at is that 5 liter V8 engine, 518 horsepower. 461 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. This SUV, as large as it is, will rock at zero to 60 in about 5.2 seconds. Top speed around 150 miles an hour. It weighs 5,385 pounds. And guess what? MPG 16 in the city, 21 on the highway, and you could tow almost 8,000 pounds with this particular vehicle. 8.6 inches of ground clearance can be raised to almost 10. You do have, of course, adaptive suspension because you could actually see the wires at the top of the shock absorbers there underneath the hood. They even put a little bit of bracing to kind of stiffen it up. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this supercharged V8 and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Range Rover HSE P525 Westminster Edition, long wheelbase. I don't think names get any longer than that. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, this thing is definitely doing the business for premium luxury. I'm digging that supercharged V8 power. How much is it? MSRP for the way that this one is optioned, you're looking at $132,500. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Door panels are so classy looking, it's ridiculous. You have some gloss black there. The seat controls are nice, high, up, easy, uh, easily accessible. Large speaker cover and a door pocket that you could fit probably about, I would say 22 and a half Twinkies in there. Now when you get to the dash, soft material is just everywhere. Open up your glove box, you have your lower glove box, belt line. So guess what? You could put the Hope Diamond in here. It's not going to get scratched. You could put your grandma's china in here. It's not going to get scratched. We close it up. And then you also have the top portion. So think about this, what you could put in here. Maybe you have like a crystal egg that you were given as a child many, many years ago that was a family heirloom. You could keep that in there. Very nicely done. Close it up. I love the classy looking AC vents. And then guess what? We have a bunch of technology here. You're going to have this beautiful infotainment system, 10 inch infotainment system. You could actually tilt the screen. That's how nice that this does that. See how it says screen angle? So I could take some angle out of it or I could add angle to it. It's nice to have that personalization. You get this whole interior set up exactly the way that you want it. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. As you can see, it is a touch screen. You do have your navigation very easily, you know, to navigatable, if that's even a word. Plus, you have cameras. 
full 360. We do have doors open, so that's why we're not showing everything. But let me go ahead and throw it into reverse. There's our backup camera, super duper clear with trajectory, which is really nice. So that's a really nice touch. And then as you work your way down, you're then gonna get another massive 10 inch display with all your controls. So you could get into your seats, heated, ventilated, the climate controls, we could get in our vehicle settings. Look at that, there's our Range Rover. You could go into the different modes, easy to do. I love the graphics, so clear, so crisp. And if this does seem a little overwhelming, at first it is, but it gets better, I promise you. Look at how you change the different things. So I could put on my heated seat, which I don't want right now. We could go back to AC. I could then do ventilated. I'll go ventilated, that feels good. You want to adjust the blower fans? Look at this, there's your blower fan speed right there. So it, it really does not take much. If I could figure it out, you could figure it out. This is gonna control that ZF eight speed automatic transmission. Nice, classy feel, the brushed aluminum, more of that gloss black. You slide this bad boy forward. You have your two cup holders. You got a little bit of a toothpick tray so you can pick Funyuns out of your teeth when you're about to pick up your date. There's our Land Rover key fob with that iconic badge there. Would be nice if it said Range Rover since technically this is a Range Rover, but you have the buttons on the back. Good size, feels really substantial just like this vehicle. We close that back up. And then now we have the ability to change modes and to raise and lower. So right now we're in the full low position. You can raise this, you have hill descent control, which is great. And then you see how that raises up and you could twist this and go into different settings, which is wonderful. And then you're gonna have, it's a very hard armrest, but the good news is it's very high. Let me get this other key fob out of here. Very high armrest. We lift that up, look at this. You got a little bit of a Skittles tray. We have USBs, a 12 volt, and then we have a fridge. So if you like to keep your Twinkies cool, you could e easily put about 10 Twinkies in here without getting cream anywhere and keep them cool in your little refrigerator. One thing that's kind of like a little over the top is they do give you captain's chair armrests as well, and you could adjust these to a different angle, but the seats themselves, absolutely phenomenal. Look at the stitch work, the headrests are so thick. It's like a big, huge pillow pet. You have the perforated center. I love all the nice materials, and like we pointed out, they're full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And then on top of that, you're gonna get this massive panoramic sunroof, and I'm gonna slide this all the way back so you could see how everybody gets a little bit of the sky there. Nicely done. Tons of headroom, but why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind this beautifully leather, gloss black, heated steering wheel. Come on over. All right, guys, business time on the driver's side. Let's take a look at the door panel here. I wanna showcase where they have the window controls, nice and high, easy to get to. Obviously, for your electric mirrors, you could fold those. You have all your seat controls, including those massaging seats. Love the style of the door handle, the speaker grill cover, and that supersized door pocket. You could literally put a foot-long meatball sub from Subway in there and have no problem. You're not gonna get any marinara sauce anywhere. Down below, we have the Range Rover sill plate, looking classy. And then when it comes to these seats, I'm telling you right now, the leather quality is just ridiculous. The stitch work, perforated, looking really great. Steering wheel, this is more of that uniqueness of a Range Rover. So you're gonna have that gloss black at the top and the bottom with the beautiful leather, the brushed aluminum finish, tasteful, super tasteful on that horn button with the Range Rover badging. You can see the gloss black on the buttons. You do have paddles to go up and down that eight speed automatic transmission, ZF8 speed, and then guess what? You have your 12 inch display, full digital TFT, very clear, very classy, and electric tilting tele and telescoping steering wheel, plus head up display as well. Speaking of heads up, I got plenty of headroom in here with that panoramic sunroof, but why don't we go ahead, let's get to that back seat, because if you think there's room up here, you're gonna be treated like a king in the back seat. All right guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you right now, if you wanna impress your friends with a back seat, you don't go get an Escalade, you don't get a Lincoln Navigator, you don't get a Mercedes Benz or a BMW or an Audi. Check out the amount of space back here. I'm six feet tall and I feel like the king 
of my rolling castle back here. That's what I feel like. You have the leather that goes all the way around the seats, massive pockets here. And you know what? You're gonna to wanna to put some good stuff back here. Maybe because it's such a special back seat, put some of the great literary works of geniuses like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, maybe A Tale of Two Cities, The Grapes of Wrath, To Kill a Mockingbird. Those are some exciting books, right? But boy, oh boy, this is some excitement back here. You have this command center that is second to none. Gloss black. If you need a snack box, not only do you have a 12 volt to keep your snacks warm, but you could literally fill this up with about two dozen bananas. And you're not going to scratch not one banana, which is good news because guys don't like their bananas scratched. Close that up. You got your rear AC not only here, but also up top, which I'll show you that in a second. Heated and ventilated seats. All of our AC controls. A large cubby space for some Tootsie Rolls. You could easily put about 15 Tootsie Rolls in there. More 12 volts. And then we have two USBs there. So they got you covered in the back seat. Sitting here, here's the other AC vent. You got these nice LED reading lights. You got this powered side shades. Look at that. I mean, all electric assist. Really feels fantastic. And then when it comes to an armrest, yeah, they got you covered. Semi-soft, two cup holders. Look at this guy. Peanut, if that's not a peanut M&M tray, I don't know what is. And guess what? It's easily removable. You can take that tray out so that you can wash it. So that's a nice thing. Or at least have your butler wash it. If you're being driven chauffeured in one of these, you probably have your butler have them wash it. But that goes back there. I don't know about you, lots of space up here. Let's see what kind of space we have in the cargo area. All right, guys, time to get into the cargo area. Wait until you see how much room that we have. Because remember, there, like I point out, there is no third row. So we're going to hit that button. Nice electric assist, opens very quickly. And then, of course, what's nice about this setup, you could put those grocery bags in there. Nothing's going to roll out. But if you want to have a nice landing pad, you hit that button. It electronically drops down. Nice, wide, tall opening. You could literally go and put your mountain bike back there if you really want to. But what you're looking at with the seats up, 39.9 cubic feet of space. You fold those seats down, you're looking at almost 78 cubic feet of space. Some of the great things back here is, first of all, you have LED lighting. We do have a power source. You have a 12 volt on the driver's side, so you could do your tailgating with your luxury premium Range Rover. And then, of course, the great news is we could actually lower Look at how I'm lowering all by the press of a button. We lowered it just a little bit more, or you can raise it. We raise it up right from the rear of the vehicle. Cool to have that type of feature, and that's what you're getting when you go this Range Rover route, is having that ability. And then, of course, pushing the buttons, you're going to be able to fold down those seats very, very easily as well. Everything is electric assist, and as you can see, that mid-row just kind of very slowly folds down. It's a, it, it does take a while, so I hope you're not in a rush. But you know what? Slow down a little bit. Enjoy life. You're in a Range Rover, and there we have that mid-row down. But if you're ready, I'm ready. We're going to get all these doors and seats and everything back where they should be. We're going to take this supercharged Range Rover for a little spin. All right, guys. We're in the 2021 Range Rover HSE P525 Westminster Edition long wheelbase i tell you it these range rovers drive so well very very quiet and you'd be surprised like you think that this would be really cumbersome it's not they're actually very easy to drive steering has a nice feel i'm gonna go ahead and put it into sport mode dynamic well they don't call it sport they call it dynamic mode that's perfect for driving on the streets, but let's go ahead on throttle. Wow. You can actually feel it. Like when this thing gets on full steam, you could feel it push you back in the seat. That supercharged V8, over 500 horsepower, beautiful TFT digital display. When you have it in dynamic mode, it shows some red graphics on there. Getting to everything is within reach. Massive front windshield. One of the biggest when it comes to this type of vehicle. Gives you great visibility. 
And that's really what's going to allow you to just drive this so simply. I mean, it really is a wonderful driving SUV. You get a nice little growl, nothing too obtrusive from the V8. And even in the lower setting, going over bumps, going, uh, you know, over different rivets and ruts in the road, super smooth. It's like it just glides over everything. You got the head up display giving you your important information and visibility. Even for being a larger vehicle, because it's a boxier design, gives you really good visibility. You got small paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight speed automatic transmission. I'll pull up the navigation there. There's our navigation, easily accessible. Of course, the power is going to all four wheels and just super smooth, really, really super smooth. As you can see, we're driving in a little bit of a traffic weekday traffic situation, but going over the expansion joints, super quiet in here, super smooth. These seats are so freaking comfortable. It's ridiculous. And your backseat passengers, I'm telling you, if you want to treat somebody well, take them for a ride in the backseat of one of these because it is phenomenal what it feels like back there or even up front as well. Getting to everything, like I said, it, it just, at first it probably seems like a lot, which it is, but after a while, it just really makes great sense. And I like that. All right guys, driving down the road, this is what you need. If you're doing a lot of long distance driving, or even if you're in a short distance, but high traffic, this vehicle, like I said, is just so comfortable, so smooth, and you got the power to just get you out of even your own way, which is perfect. But I'm gonna go ahead and slow down. On oh, throttle, here we go. Golly, look at this. It just, I'm telling you, it that ZF8 speed just drops down, the nose points for the sky, and you are off. And you'll be surprised, like handling-wise, these handle really well for their size, especially when you have it in the lower suspension setting. That's just going to make the whole experience that much better. But hopefully this gave you a great overall feel of what this Range Rover is all about and what you're getting for the money. We're going to get back to Jaguar Land Rover of Clearwater and wrap this up. So I'll see you in a split second. Right, guys, it's been another great day here at Jaguar Land Rover of Clearwater. I definitely got to thank Steve, Chris, the whole crew getting us this 2021 Range Rover HSE, that supercharged goodness with the long wheelbase. It just shows that Range Rover does something a little bit different that separates it from the rest of the premium luxury SUVs. And if you haven't driven one of these or ridden in one, I highly recommend taking a Saturday or Sunday and just enjoying yourself and getting that done. I think it's gonna surprise you. But if you wanna keep seeing these large and in charge luxury SUVs on Rady's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Rady's Rise merch. Gotta give it up to my wonderful wife, Lori. Man in that camera like a champ. She is gonna win tons of awards. Show her some love in the comment section because she deserves it. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.